A story is given of a very old mama who was very prayerful. And you see, he had some teenage girl who were living with the friends. So at one particular time they came. It is a true story. They came to visit the mother. And you know they were drunkards and such kind of things. So as they were leaving that day, they were okay. As they were leaving with the car, with the friends. The mother said, I cover your journey and the vehicle and yourselves with the blood of Jesus Christ. But the teenagers told the mother, you know, she looked old fashioned. Why are you saying you are covering us? Let your Jesus be at the boot. Place your Jesus at the boot of the vehicle. Let that Jesus go there. We do not want him now here. So they went listening to music. They were very happy as they were going back. But they had a very bad accident. They all perished in that accident, including the daughter. But guess what? There was a crate of eggs in the booth they had put there. Not one of the eggs were broken. Because the blood of Jesus was in the boots. We cannot ignore the protection of the blood of Jesus Christ. We cannot ignore. I remember there was a time I wanted my vehicle, I don't remember which one. But there was a time I had some problems with my vehicle and I, I told my friends that the spares to my vehicle, I need to go for them at Nairobi. And then as we were moving here, I remember we were somewhere where they sell Mira. I remember that is where we were. He is a born again man. So I told him, let us pray as we begin the journey. So I prayed, I said, Father, in the name of Jesus, I am covering our journey with the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover this vehicle with the blood of Jesus. I cover our whatever we are going, wherever we are going, with the blood of Jesus. So I pleaded the blood. Then we say in the amen. After we say in the amen, the man told me, you people, you are misusing the blood of Jesus. Jesus did not die for vehicles, for metal. What you are applying the blood of Jesus to is not what he died for. So telling me you are covering the vehicle by the blood of Jesus in itself is not biblical. So I realize I had no biblical proof to cover the vehicle with the blood of Jesus. But right now I would have done that. It won't be a sign for you on the houses. Our houses also human beings. So we went, we bought everything that was required for my vehicle. We put it in his vehicle. We came. There's a place people eat meat 
on your way from Nairobi. North Keno, there is another place, Kenyatta Road, Hapo. We said we are very hungry, let us take meat. We took meat and Ugali who are full. So we now came. Moya, we had a serious accident. Serious accident. Guess what? The vehicle was written off completely. None of us was touched. None of us was touched. We were not touched. The vehicle was completed. I realized the man was so sad. He had no insurance cover. He had no other party. It was bad. I wanted to remind him when we were in the police station, you refused us to cover. I covered your vehicle, you uncovered it. We need to cover our children, our houses, our money, our everything. Job put a hinge around his property, around himself, around everything else for protection. Draw boundaries of the enemy. Tell him never pass here. Don't ever try to pass here. You may touch every other person, but not me. This called the power of the blood. This reminds me of a farmer who was farming. He was a pottery farmer. And that pottery farmer, the chicken began dying. And as they were dying, today I'm giving you a lot of stories. I want you to see the power. I'm not a man of stories. As the chicken began dying, he said, let me pray so that God may intervene. And as he was praying, he got an instruction from God. Can you go and draw a boundary, a blind line boundary? Blind line boundary so he went and drew he said you should not cross here and he prayed he drew around the pottery house he drew a bland light around the pottery house I have, I have seen what I will go and do to my pigs God has ministered to me he drew a pottery oh, a bland line around the pottery house. Like that, drawing. Saying, you shall not pass here, you shall not pass here. Drawing. Do you know what happened? The next day, he met a beer lying there. Because it crossed that line, it dropped dead completely. I am drawing a line over your life. Anything that tries to come and bewitch you, it shall die. Draw a blind line. Let me give you another story. There is a story I read about one man in America. See, there was, they have some tornadoes and some things that come plants. So he heard that plants were coming that time. So he said, Listen to me, plant. I put a hinge around my house. I draw a bland line around my house. You should not touch me. Fland came. His house was left like that. 
it was not touched by the flood it is gone the power of the blood you can draw a blood line praise the name of the lord number 3 how can you use the blood you use the blood you use the voice of the blood you use the voice of the blood are you blessed are you being blessed you use the voice of the blood hebrews 12:24 The Bible says Jesus the mediator of a new covenant and to the sprinkled blood that speaks better word it is speaks Now the mystery around the blood is that when blood is shed it doesn't die a person dies but blood does not die if we send your blood today your blood will not die you can only die but not the blood blood doesn't die okay i know you are not hearing me let me repeat that again so that you can hear me well that even if we send your blood today you are the person to die the blood does not die Let me give you some biblical examples. Genesis chapter number 4 verse number 9 and 10. That is the mystery. Blood doesn't die. It speaks, it has a voice. When the Lord said to Cain, "Where is your brother Abel?" He said, "I don't know. Am I my brother's keeper?" very rude Cain was very rude like some of us The Lord said we are not rude The Lord said you are not rude you are good boys and girls You are not rude Say I'm not rude Okay I will listen to how you will be answering What have you done Listen your brother's blood cries out to me from the crowd the blood didn't die it was still speaking abel is dead but the blood is still speaking the blood is still speaking revelation chapter number 6 verse 9 and 10 this seems like it is verse 9 and 10 when he opened the fifth seal I saw under the altar the souls of those who had been killed who had been slain because of the word of God and the testimony they had maintained they called out in a loud voice people are dead blind speaking how long sovereign lord holy and true until you judge the inhabitants of the earth and avenge avenge our blood avenge our blood look chapter 11 verse 49 to 51 look chapter number 11 look 11 because of this god in his wisdom said i will send them prophets and apostles some of whom they will kill and others they will persecute therefore this generation will be held responsible for the blood of all the prophets that has been shed since the beginning of the world from the blood of abel to the blood of zechariah who was killed between the altar and the sanctuary yes i tell you this generation 
will be held responsible for it all. Blood. Very serious thing. It doesn't die before it gets revenge. Before somebody avenges on behalf of their blood. This means several things. It means, number one, blood has a hotline to God. It has some hotline. In a pigia mungu, heavy blood, send blood. It has a direct telephone line to God. Blood. Very serious. Very serious. Blood, any blood, including the one you have for your parents. Very serious. Blood. Serious. Another thing that I want to say is that blood speaks judgment, not mercy. Blood will always speak judgment, not mercy. So when we speak about the blood of Jesus Christ, it is speaking judgment, not mercy. Not mercy, but judgment. Let me interpret it further so that you can understand. It simply means that there are some things you are suffering now. Wait, wait. Because your forefathers torn or they shed some blood. It means there are some things that your offsprings can suffer because of the blood that you shed. You need to be very careful regarding blood. Don't you think, and we are speaking to Kenyans now, There is some blood that has touched the earth in Kenya through accidents, through rituals, through tribal clashes, through killings and murder, through terrorism. Don't you think it is putting Kenya into trouble? Don't you think that blood is putting Kenya into trouble? You might not have taken part in the murder of and the incending blood of anybody. But because it was shed in your lineage, or it was shed where you are. You are guilty. Because it was sent by your forefathers, you are guilty. Guilty. Because it was sent by that. So let me ask men. Do you think when you rape a virgin and still spill some blood, Don't you think blood will also be required from you? We ask also those officers and doctors. I'm a doctor. You are talk about it. If you steal medicine from the hospital. And somebody comes in the hospital and doesn't fight medicine. Don't you think blood will be required from you because of killing people? Drivers. Mogo. 
don't you think by driving carelessly and people die blood can be required from you don't you think because of a bullshot blood will be required from you is sending innocent blood Don't you think if you are a contractor and you are given a chance to construct a certain road or buildings that keep on collapsing and people die don't you think blood will be required from you Don't you think if you are a witch and you are bewitching people and they die blood will be required from you don't you think if you are a pastor or a preacher and you are not preaching the right thing and people go to hell blood will also be required from you we need to be very careful blood speaks blood speaks use the blood of jesus christ to enter into the courts of heaven let me tell you the blood of jesus christ is the only voice in the court room of heaven that speaks positively about you i am speaking the blood of jesus christ let it present its case in the court room about you say amen use number 4 use the blood to access God's throne use the blood to access God's throne Hebrews 9:7 it was our theme sometimes back Hebrews 9:7 but only the high priest entered the inner room and that only once a year and never without the blood you cannot enter the inner room the courts of heaven without the blood Whatever gives you access to God is the blood. Whatever gives you access to God is the blood. Why? Because the blood sanctifies you and the blood cleanses you. Because the voice of the blood is the one that is admissible in heaven, not your voice. And because blood is a sacrifice, three reasons why the blood gives you access. because the voice of the blood is admissible in heaven because the blood cleanses and sanctifies you and because number three, the blood is a sacrifice it is an offering to god the blood of jesus number five, use the blood as a life giving power use the blood as a life giving power use the blood as a life giving power revelation no leviticus 17:11 leviticus 17:11 for the life of any creature is in the blood blood gives life use the blood to live the blood to live whoever takes my blood gets eternal life use the blood to live a person who lacks blood is dying i tell you the truth if you come and you are told you have no blood in your body what are we talking about When your blood stops flowing you are dead. Blood we always revive dead marriages and relationships. There are some people who are living in relationship that are not holding waters. Especially Christians. Haven't you seen even one singer that has died 
because of being burdened by the husband. And in church and anointed and doing exploits for the sake of the kingdom. He died. She died. We have lost. Our finances die. But it can be revived by the blood. Blood revives even dead businesses, dead ministries. Blood gives life. There was a 26-year-old lady. Yesterday we went somewhere with my wife and I told him I told her we were talking with somebody who was schooling together she told me you want to tell me that is your arrangement old very old so a 26 year old was very old there are some people who devil uses some strategy of aging you. There are some people who look young as you are moving like that. I know you are not aware. Have you ever asked yourself why some girls, they look beautiful, they walk nicely, they are good at clothing, and it is like nobody cares about them. Nobody sees them. Or when you get into a relationship, that is the end of the road. Mutu wana kuambia. Wakati mwatu karibu kuwana. Na kuambia. Ah, apana mi siku wana taka hiyo relationship. Ni vinyame sense na ukondani. They communicate. Spirits communicate. Wewe ni mze sana. I remember there was one girl I saw in deliverance with Pastor. By the way, received greetings from Pastor Nanga. She called me yesterday. Nanga neno evangelism. E God is good. I love that man of God. Receive greetings. You know, it, it really amazed me. How she, he got my number. God loves me. Now, Okay. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> So, what happened now? I saw Apostle James Mainanganga delivering. Delivering a certain lady, a young girl. But as she was being delivered, she was saying, I'm old. I am married. I am 88 years. Now you ask yourself, this looks 20. How is she talking like that? So there was this young lady who was 26 but looked very young. There are some people who devil uses, comes and makes, causes you to age to a point where by you are only 22 years and people are looking at you and they say you are 42. You ask yourself, what could be the problem with me? It is a demonic attack. So when this lady had the, a message like this one about the blood and how God can make you young, she decided to go and apply the blood on herself for three days. So, so she closed her room, stayed there, applying the blood. Oh, the blood of Jesus Christ, cover my life, renew my youth, give me life again. Let my youth become the youth of an eagle. And she was praying and applying the blood. After three days, guess what? She moved out. And the people are saying, eh, you look young. You really 
look young. You do not need to apply Karolaita, Karota, whatever you apply. Apply the blood. The blood is enough. Machana na karo? Karolaita. Apply the blood. She had a good shape. Didn't I tell you that there were some people who were going to the mountain to pray? Who were going, and some of them are in this church. Who were going to the mountain to pray? As we were praying, kumbe mutu ni figawani. Sasa tukienda kuomba, tunaomba na sema, God, I need a figure. I need a good shape. Give me a good shape. And do you know what happened? God answers. Have you ever believed God can give you a good shape? Or you just think you are too of a spiritual to think that shape is not important. Man looks at the outside appearance. First Samuel chapter 16 verse 7. The Bible says, Do not consider his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things man looks at. We are men. Men. Man looks at the outside appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. It is not the Lord who will marry you. No. It is man. So we want outside appearance. Don't come wearing gunia and things that do not look like they are good. We are well. Because sisi tunakuangalia, hata walking style, he change. Upitia mahali kama unakot work hivi, mpaka tuacha tukia tunakuangalia hivi. Kama njama mwingine alikuwa na watch video. He was, you know the reporters, they stay like that when they are reporting. Sasa njama mwingine akaona musiana amepitia hapa nyuma hivi. Musiana alikuwa na katuoka, alikuwa mevalia vizuri. Si anachukua huyu nika kiuwa ripota. Ana mchukua vizuri sana. Sasa si musiana amepitia hapa nyuma ya nika. Ya, njama akasahau, akayandanisha na musiana. <laughs> Reporting for NTV. Ah, zero. Man looks at the outside appearance. Don't ever be cheated. <laughs> Don't ever be cheated. So you are staying like that, thinking that people will like you for no reason. No. Even your husband will like you because of that. Man looks at the outside appearance. It's God who will look at your heart. We have no capability to look at your heart. So we know you are prayerful. Yes, all right. We know you are God-fearing. Yes, all right. God is seeing that. Now we are well. Perfume yourself well. Walk nicely. Yeah? Sio kukaanga na nini unatokea na zile sandals zinakaaji. Yaani hata tukikuangalia hakuna mahali unaenda. Ni masandals peke yake kama umetoka bathroom throughout. It's like you are from bathroom. Can I hear Lindy say amen? Even if you refuse to say amen, can I hear the Lindy say amen? Usifukuze mutu. Ani tawafunza vitu za live, za family, siku moja. Mwezi moja ni tanda diketi, nuwafunze ma vitu za family. Vire unafahu kubihave. family ni wavuza vizuri vile unafaa ku behave vile unafaa ku move si atinju umechoka una anti lete anda di maji anti lete anda di maji utaachwa ukiwa unaomba ukiwa unaongea in tongues nju ni anti atakuwa akionekana vile anatembea man looks at the outside appearance Anaonekana. Wewe unaonekana ama uko hapo. Men don't don't men don't marry bosses. Men will never marry a boss. And men will never marry an equal. Forget it. You have to be down. 
Oh, na lazima ukue yani yuko juu men they are kings njifunza na lion kings unaenda unamtafutia anakuja kazi yake ni kukura kukura peke yake and the way to man's heart is the stomach kukura tu ziba kuna kitu kingine ndio sababu naulizanga kwa nini mtu ameshikwa na na barmaid lakini akitoka kwa kazi akienda anasema niletee task mbalidi barmaid anakosea anamletea ikiwa moto anamwambia mi nilikuitisha task mbalidi ama moto njia stress amurudishi yangi anarudi nayo anakuja naye ikiwa mbaridi anamwambia bishika usikie ni kama hiyo anashika hii ni sawa anaulizwa sasa kwa nini ulikuwa unaongea hivi hebu toa kuti kwanza kama kuna joto men like men are kings the same same man goes to his house anaenda anasema niletee chai juu kwa na mtoto unamwambia kwani auoni ile kazi niko nayo ngojea kidogo men don't have patience they don't wait alafu unakuja na kuletea unamletea na kuambia hii ni baridi sana sasa baba mweni you have to understand because ile kazi iko hapa akimisi hizi pata time ya kuchemshia chai anasema okay acha ni kunywa ikiwa mbarindi lakini kesho mimi nitakunywa kule itakuwa moto this is simple as that na wewe uko hapo unaongea na dimi raka shanda raba kusata i command him to come utaongea na ndimi zako mpaka mwisho and i am not saying that ndimi azifanyange kazi <laughs> zinafanyanga lakini ni wakeza zitafanya nitawafundisha family life si ndio eh mwache mchezo na e, mwana ume bwana nick mwanamke anapendanga tu yani hiyo acknowledgement tu hakuna kitu kingine na esteem hata kama akai vizuri njaribu kusema anakaa vizuri hata kama akai na alafu kumletea tu vitu mletee tu ya earrings mletee tu mshibi ama mletee viatu unajua kuna viatu nilinunua i thank god mother is not around unajua kuna viatu nilinunua 1999 na mpaka saa hii naambia kwa hizo viatu ni mzuri na ni za 1999 naziriisha you don't forget and don't kill yourself as self esteem ndo unamwambia wewe ni bure ama unamwambia i i i i made a mistake i just made a mistake to marry somebody like you don't kuna mistake ulifanya ni wewe mistake njoo ni wewe mjamuonesha bila anafanya nitawafukuza family life leo ni blood leo ni And the last thing use the blood for your victory use the blood for your victory revelation 12:11 mali to reason bible inasema they overcame by the blood they overcame by the blood blood overturns defeat into victory blood overturns defeat to victory 
na witches wanajua hivyo ukienda kwa witch wanachinjanga mambuzi na kuku wanamwaga damu demons know that si tulikuwa tunaenda hapa chini because blood was shed all over demons know that you overcome they were sitting on us walikuwa natukalia kama kanisa walikuwa natukalia kama embu wewe oh, unaona tu ni accidents na hapa na ujui ni sacrifices zinafanya so that they can have an upper hand over us usikubali vitu zimwagike hivyo ndamu imwagike hivyo 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 Unaona hapo kwa business yako ati ndipo ndamu inamwagika ati watu wa mboda wameanguka. Hapana, enda hapo na anointing oil. Ui mwage, useme I cleanse this place. Ukue na over anapa hand over those demons. Hiyo inanikumbusha hii nji ya ring road ikinjengwa. Nilisikia na huko kianjokoma na huko juu, Boinjero na huko juu. Ati wali the con uh, sijui ni akina nani walichinja mbuzi when they were about to tamak wanachinja mbuzi kama tatu hivi wanazikata kichwa wanaenda wakimwaga hivi kwa barabara hivyo so wewe unanjiuliza kwa nini kuna kuwa na black spots kwa nini kuna kuwa na vitu fulani but you do not ama mtu mmoja ndiye anapatiwa contract you do not know is the power of the black if those blands are working that way how much more can the blood of Jesus Christ work upon our lives kuna jamaa alikuwa king wa moab king wa moab king wa jerusalem uh, ilikuwa nini jerusalem israel israel walikuwa katikana na nani na juda wakaenda waka, walikuwa three kings Moab alikuwa serious sana three kings wakaenda kupigana na yeye in second kings chapter number 3 verse 26 and 27 Elisha akawa prophesy hiyo atashinda lakini wakati the king of Moab saw that the battle had gone against him he took with him 700 sons men army 700 to break through the king of Endom okay alikuwa king of Endom Israel Nigeria but they failed look at what he did next look at what he did next look na Moab alikuwa si watu wa Mungu look Israel ndio alikuwa wa Mungu then he took his first born son first born akachukua first born hivi who was to succeed him as the king and he offered him as a sacrifice on the city wall then look at the results the fury against israel was great they withdrew and returned to their own land watu wa mungu anashindwa na mtusi wa mungu sababu ya blood it's a serious thing don't joke with the blood Don't just joke with the blood. Please don't joke with the blood. Let us pray. Stand up we pray. Father, thank you because of the deliverance of the blood. And you say, Father, thank you because of deliverance through the blood. Can you pray that prayer in the name of Jesus, Father? Thank you because of the deliverance through the blood in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ thank you because of deliverance thank you because of salvation thank you because of victory thank you because of the voice of the blood we give you praise we give you honor thank you mighty god because of the blood in Jesus precious and mighty name say amen every verbal or written covenant against me by evil spirits be cancelled by the blood every written or verbal covenant made against me by evil spirits be cancelled by the blood of Jesus
and you pray that prayer again in the name of Jesus Christ. That is what we are declaring in the mighty name of Jesus. Every covenant written against me, every ordinance written against me, I cancel it by the blood of Jesus Christ. I cancel it by the blood of Jesus Christ. And you say every handwriting, every ordinance against my life be cancelled by the blood of Jesus. Now I want uh, Colossians 2 verse 14. Colossians 2 verse 14. The Bible says having cancelled the written code. Put it in KJV. Having cancelled. Having cancelled. Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us which was contrary to us and took it on the way nailing it to the cross blotting out handwritings there are some handwritings and ordinances against you can you pray like you mean it every handwriting every ordinance against my life be cancelled by the blood of Jesus. Can you pray that prayer? Every handwriting, every deed that has been placed somewhere, that has been spoken by the kings of darkness, that has been sealed by the kings of darkness, right now I cancel you by the blood of Jesus. I cancel you by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' precious and mighty name, Every evil deposit. Now, remember I told you there are some deposits that are usually in the life of individuals. Matthew 15, 13. Matthew 15, 13. The Bible says in Matthew 15, 13, every plant that my heavenly father has not planted will be pulled out. That means there are some uh, plants that the father never plants. Now, the Bible also says in the book of Matthew 13 verse 25 Matthew 13 the Bible says but an enemy he planted which means there are some enemies and some who are not being evil spirits that are against your life I know you are sometimes feeling but now when you are saying that is time and plants and make some evil deposits in your body somebody was saying that uh, you know uh, so he hand, she had a dream and uh, somebody came and uh, aka mdunga sindano vile alindungwa sindano kuamuka akaenda hospital was sick she was sick and then from there sijui akaambiwa ni cancer sijui ni nini unajua shetani ukuja when you are sleep unasikia kama unaota tu unasikia umendungwa unasikia unafanywa nini Mary told me at one particular time you told me that when you are asleep at somebody came dream criminals somebody came and akakuonga kichwa si ndio uliniambia na ukasikia pain na asubuhi you hand something that is not very pleasant. It happens. I'm giving you examples. Some things, they come when you are sleeping. And there are some deposits of the devil. And therefore, we are pulling those deposits in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every evil deposit in my system. Inflicted or... Okay. Now, what are you saying? What were we saying? Every evil says every evil deposit in my system. Inherited or self-inflicted. I flush you out by the blood of Jesus. I flush you out by the blood of Jesus. Can you flush those evil deposits, those evil sins? those bad things that have been deposited in your life in the mighty name of Jesus I flush them out today I flush them out today I flush them out of my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in 
the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As I eat and drink the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, I renew my covenant with you, Jesus, and I receive newness of life. As I eat and drink the blood of Jesus Christ, I renew my covenant with you and receive newness of life. Can you pray that prayer right now as we partake of this communion? This is what we are declaring, newness of life. This is what we are declaring in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that we are going to renew our covenants with the Lord Jesus Christ as we partake it, a new covenant upon our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Say amen. The only thing that can prevent you from receiving Jesus Christ is the condition that we have in this church. Anybody that comes to partake of the Holy Communion must first of all examine himself. And after you examine yourself, you partake. Number two, anybody that comes to partake the Holy Communion must acknowledge the Lordship of the Lord Jesus Christ. So if you are here and you are not born again and you want to partake the Holy Communion, I want you to lift up your hands so that we can include you in this particular exercise. If you have not given your life to Christ, I want to give you a chance. Do you have anybody? Amen. God bless you. On the night in which he was betrayed, he took the bread. And after taking the bread, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you. This is my body. As we are partaking of this body, we are renewing our covenant with you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And on the same evening, he took the cup. And after taking the cup, he blessed it and said, Take this. This is blood of the new covenant. As we partake of this blood of the new covenant, we are renewing our covenant with you. And we receive the newness of life through the blood. Victory that we need through the blood. The voice of the blood that speaks positive things in the courts of heaven. We are speaking it right now as we partake of this holy communion. In Jesus precious and mighty name. Say amen. Amen. Now I call upon our elders to come and help us to serve the Holy Communion. And God will definitely bless you. As I invite you to come and partake the body and the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. We begin with the choir.
want you to say I apply the blood of Jesus upon every hidden sickness in my body upon every hidden devourer in my finances upon every satanic oppressor upon every closed door in my life in the name of Jesus apply the blood of Jesus Christ right now upon those hidden things anything that is hiding in your life I expose it expose it right now expose it right now expose it right now expose it right now in Jesus precious and mighty name say amen and you see through the blood I am redeemed from lack I am redeemed from diseases I am redeemed from failure I have the life of God my ministry is alive my relationships are alive my business is alive through the blood of Jesus Christ I have victory and access to my blessings in Jesus name can you declare things that the blood will do over your life in the mighty name of Jesus that is our prayer that is our plea in Jesus precious and mighty name say amen amen I want to give Mary Siokau a chance to greet us have a seat and then we have the final blessings and then we go Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. My name is Mary Siokau or Mary Nzisa. I am born again. Christ is Lord in my life. And I want to thank God uh, that um, after almost one year, I, I have come back to church and I found everybody around. Thank you very much. It has been an intense, uh, dark period of my life. I was even asking God, Kumbe wala watu wendangi church ufilivi. You feel empathetic. Because, um, not because of anything bad. Uh, I had my mom hospitalized for seven months. Seven months, I had packed my bags and everything and we were living in the hospital. Uh, she later went to be with the Lord in a very uh, glorious uh, manner that uh, we thank God. And, um, I want to give special thanks even to the church uh, for the people who stood with me in prayers, for the people who are supporting me, and uh, for the final send-off. Uh, I really appreciate Pastor and Mom were there and the elders and uh, Pastor Shundu. I want to give special thanks uh, before the presence of God to Susan. Sometimes she would just come uh, a whole day just to be in the hospital and uh, I know God is faithful so thank you for holding on thank you for trusting God and uh, thank you church for the support uh, in that event we used the instruments and the PA from church and I appreciate so to my daughters to wave and my sons Jason stand Jason wave Fred, wave, uh, Yvonne, Leza, and Yobi. So thank you very much. We thank appreciate. You. Thank you so much. God bless you. Let's, let, us, let us pray for you, Mary. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, this is what I am declaring upon your servant, that she will totally be restored in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm also praying for the gap. You are the father, you are the mother God. Whatever the mother does and whatever the father does in the family, I am praying that you do it for Mary. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. I am opening unprecedented doors upon our life. Let this season be a season of joy. After tears, they went sowing in tears, but they came with joy. After tears is a season of joy. I am speaking this season of joy upon our life in Jesus' precious and mighty name. Say amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Stand up. We say the benediction. Mimi ni pungu come for the first time any visitor who has come for the first time except the ones that we hand the first up is thank you any other any other visitor any other visitor come here i pray for you come with your paraphernalia come here i pray for you amen Zeke. Oh, oh, Mimi, Nipungu, Nipungu, 